Master Yada, are you sure that it's wise to continue operating the world as you've been? Rather than conducting investigations of regular players, perhaps we should gather specialists on a closed server. Hi. Yes? Do you know where Ida's interest currently lies? No. People. The reason that Ida is staying in the world is because there are so many things of interest present within it. If we shut down the server, Ida will cease to remain in the world and will likely move its interest elsewhere. As to what that chain of events would bring about both in the world and beyond, even I cannot begin to imagine. We at GU must prevent the damage created by Ida from spreading. At the same time, we will gather Epitaph users and gain the power to confront it. That is our highest priority now. Right. Then go and do what you must. I await good results. Yes, Master Yada. Yes. Project GU is progressing quite smoothly. Errors in our predictions are minor. There is no cause for concern. Oh. That is all well and good. But some of our superiors have concerns about your method of operation. Hmm. Fulfill your duties without any unnecessary thinking. And as seems to be the case, Yada's not being as truthful with us as, it, as we'd like. In fact, even what he told to Pi there, would that not have made it so much easier if he had told all of us? Ah, oh, well, freaking Yada. Syllabus doesn't know about what happened with the Ida server. Ah, he wasn't online at the time. I guess I should pay him a visit. Let's go to Canard's at home. So we step back into Kanar. Hey, Haseo, you gotta help me out! Syllabus said he won't believe me at all. Now, now, Gaspard. No matter how much fun the world may be, games and reality are totally separate things. These guys don't need to know about Ida, or Avatars for that matter. Yeah... This would really only complicate matters. Yeah, Gaspard. How could something like that happen? <laughs> Haseo? But you were there too, weren't you? No... Huh? Hmm... That's... weird. I mean, that's really weird. Was I just... dreaming or something? If we can get you to think that it was just a dream, that's probably gonna be better on everybody. Hey, new mail. I do have to agree with, uh... Yada, though. Shutting down the server as a whole? would be a very bad idea. I mean, if we shut it down... For one, as he said, Ida would leave. Oh, Vaughn.
wants to wants to talk to us at the whole Grand's Cathedral. Ovan, how did he know about Adderley? Real quick check in on uh, Crimson versus here. Crimson versus. Eleven wins, three losses. Well, wow. changing that one card. And we got some cards. Um, you do see if you win enough as you win matches, your grade increases. You start out at 500. We've made our way up to 486. You get something special if you hit rank one. But um, you get some cards as you gain the uh, tower here. Let's see here. We got a general. We got Ovon. And a whole bunch of units. We've got Alcade here. Shield. Another shield. And then every time you get some new cards, it comes back here and scans its way down the list. And it sees if you make a horizontal line that you have every card in that line, it gives you another card. It does get a little annoying when it does that every single time. And you know what? 11 wins, 3 losses is actually pretty good, so I'm going to save you guys a headache and not tamper with my deck right now. Ovan summoned me. I'm to go to Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground by myself. I don't want to talk to Ovon. Ovon's a jerk. As much as he seems to know, though. Anything we can get out of him is probably going to be for the better. I guess. Hello, Hassel. You have rather a serious look about you. What is it you want? Ovan, oh, that excuse about wanting to help is so lame it wouldn't even pass for third grade theater. Mm, it's tough to have your sincerity rejected. You're like a younger brother to me, so I couldn't leave you to fend for yourself. Ha! You're the one who abandoned the Twilight Brigade! And by the way, where do you get off calling me your brother? Who do you think you are? Well now, that's a surprise. Do you think that I disappeared for no reason, Hassel? Yeah, well who cares about the reason? All that matters is that you abandoned us. That's enough. I'm afraid that is an undeniable truth. However, at the same time, it is also only one of several truths. Do you not wish to finally know the truth? The truth? Yes. The reason that Shino fell into a coma, Triage's identity, and the secrets of the epitaphs? Once investigated, they all lead to a single entity. Do you know what that is? Ida. Exactly. It all begins with Ida. Pursue Ida. Everything from how to save Shino to how to help Adelie can be found with Ida. Hey, 
Just how much do you know, anyway? What do you know about Adelie? You know what? You always know too damn much! <laughs> Trust me, I don't know everything there is to know either. Aseo, listen. Epitaphs call Ida, and Ida calls Epitaphs. Epitaphs call Ida? Yes, but only a small piece of the truth will appear in front of a single epitaph. If you wish to know the entire truth, you will need to gather the eight phases of Morgana. Eight phases? Yes, in other words, the first phase, the terror of death, Skaith. The second phase, the mirage of deceit, Innis. The third phase, the propagation, Magus. The fourth phase, the prophet, Fidel. The fifth phase, the machinator, Gore. The sixth phase, the temptress, Maha. The seventh phase, the avenge vendor, Tarvos. And the eighth and final phase, the rebirth, Korbenik. These eight epitaphs are known as the eight phases of Morgana. So basically, if I gather all of them, Ida will just appear? Yes. Furthermore, your nemesis triage and the epitaphs will likely appear. <laughs> Do you see the path? Wait! Hey, why did you tell me these things anyway? Is atonement not a good enough reason for you? Don't give me that! Do you think I'm really stupid enough to swallow that story? <laughs> the eight phases of Morgana? Both Shino and Adelie will be saved if I gather them? I'm Scathe. Pi is Tarvos. Kun is Magus. Endrance is Maha. Then there's Adelie. So three left. Fine. I'll go along with your story for the time being, Ovan. But I won't forget. How could you? You abandoned us! Ovan. Speaking from experience, having played these games before, I can say that absolutely everything Ovan says is true. However, it's never true quite as you expect it to be. And for the first time in two games, Haseo has been given a path. He's been given a goal. Something to aim for. And a means to do it. Couple more emails, so out we go again! Now again, this is still very early on in the game, so this update's going to be very... story-heavy. The end of this update should lead us into... the... real meat of the gameplay, though. New town access? New town access! We can go to the next town, Doldana! Heck yeah! Maintenance complete on the bike house and the bike garage. Heck yeah! And because we are the emperor of the demon palace, 
our guild automatically gets upgraded to the guild, uh, the uh, at home in Doldana. Much more elaborate uh, at home there. Now, if we get this automatically, since we are the Emperor, I can't imagine how they, how they expect everyone to do that, though. That'd be a little silly, saying you can only do this if you're Emperor. So I really wonder how other groups manage to pull this one off. Oh, well, not important. And Syllabus being all excited because we get to upgrade our at-home and stuff. So we're off to Doldana. To check on our new home. Oh, a new farm. Asking where to get a couple items, so we get a couple keywords. On Theta, which is our new server. Ah. Ah, check Crimson versus why not? I'm curious what my win record was. Seven wins, three losses. Not the best, but still not bad. And we got some cards. Ooh, another general. Heck, oh, that's a shield general. I'll be showing off all the cards at the end at the very least. Okay, give me a second. I gotta mess with my deck. Um... We're making us a shield deck now that we actually have some shield cards. Let's see here. He is assault, assault, shield. We have a shield. We lose 10 HP, but that almost guarantees we will be going first. What kind of shield cards do we have? Oh, we got some shield cards here. Reduce damage your general takes by one point. Sounds nice. Actually, you know what? If I'm uh, changing around the entire deck, I should probably not destroy my deck. Which one of these did I have? Is it this one? I think it was that one. Okay, so let's change this one. Why not? Make a brand new deck. Now, let's see here. We need some shield cards. So, what do we have? We have... Reduces damage your general, takes by one point. Very nice. We have... Removes one junction bullet, gain three... Nah, 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 don't care. Forcefully restores your general's HP to win to zero. That's not bad. Might as well, I mean... I'm lowering my ranks on stuff, though. Go with that one, why not? And finally adds two AP to your general. I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I have a good third shield one. Yeah, because I really don't care for that one. So maybe I can just find something else. Its uh, cost is high enough to be awesome. Deals three points of damage to enemy general. Not bad. Not bad. Assault's probably not the best thing to go with. How about this one? Ooh. And that's a five, and we are capped. That's not a bad deck right there. Okay, versus. I want to look at my log real quick, just so I can remember what my second middle card was. Okay, it was uh, Master Super. Yes. I think that's the one I set. I'm pretty sure that's the one I set. Yes, it is. Okay, let's register deck three. Uh, mostly shield deck. We should get a much improved win ratio with a shield deck when the community as a whole is going sniper. The general idea is to get three decks together, each uh, one of the three different trinities, and just switch as the people... Yeah, switch as the people are using the wrong type. Onwards to Doldana.
should go over to Kennard's at home and file the update for the guild. I should be set with no problems if I just talk to the Grunty in the hall. Now, another improvement from the previous Dot Hat game is the new servers. You can see this server isn't that big. And I'm completely of the belief that it was done because the previous server was so huge that they figured we have to put these warp points in for you to teleport around because we can't expect you to run around this server that much every time you run in here. But then if we're putting warp points in, then why make the server that big? So, we have weapons, and we can actually buy some nice new weapons. I mean, this level 51 weapon buy from the store is better than the freaking endgame crap I had, the Ripper's Blade I had before. So I'll take some time to outfit my stuff. Armor shop, same deal. Magic shop. I think it was the quest shop that was out front, and you are trade shop. So yeah, really, why make the server that big if you're just gonna let, uh, make everybody skip by all of it anyway. It's kind of like going to so much... It, it's just pointless, really. It's the kind of thing that it's not hurting anything, but really doesn't need to be there. So they just made the second server smaller, and you can run from one end to the other. Or get on a bike, it's just a big straightaway. Alright, the bike shops! Bike shop!